subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasse here and today in this video i am going to show you how you can change or upgrade the ram of your dell inspiron 5570 laptop so this is a 15 inch dell inspiron 5570 but the process is same if you have any other size so let's begin the tutorial so first of all here i have the dell inspiron 5570 and you need to make sure that you power it off and you have unplugged the charging cable so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip the dell laptop and as you can see there are a couple of screws that we need to unscrew here we have different screws so we need to unscrew all of them so i'm going to be using a phillips head screwdriver that fits with it so i'm going to just unscrew them one by one so i'm loosening all the screws if you have a magnetic screwdriver then it is best because it can move all the screws out from their holes as well as you can see some of them are stuck but they can be removed once we unscrew all of them so here for instance i have removed this one screw from the top corner so you don't need to mix all of the screws because all of these screws come in different sizes in length so what i usually do is i place them in the same order in which i remove them if this is has been removed from the top left order so i'm going to put them somewhere where it is on the top left order and then on the top middle and then and so on so you get the idea that you don't need to mix all these screws because they are of different lengths So once you have unscrewed all the screws you can't open it directly first of all you need to remove the hard disk drive bay or in your case it will be the DVD drive bay as I in the previous video I showed you how you can install a second hard disk drive or an SSD so in my case the DVD drive has a hard disk in it but anyway the concept is same you need to remove the DVD drive bay first because beneath it there will be two more screws so you're just going to push it outward like this and you're going to place it somewhere place for uh, safer so as you can see in my case i have a hard disk drive so here you will have two more screws as well that you need to unscrew and now i'm going to remove all of these screws as well if they can come out as you can see one by one so this one came out from the top this one came out from the bottom like from here and we still have some of these screws left that we need to remove again two more so the rest of the screws aren't coming out so we're just going to leave them as they are now you're going to flip your laptop again to the top here i'm just going to remove the free board protector and now in the Dell Inspire ROM 5570, this is the worst thing I should say, but you need to open all of these locks from the top side as well after removing the screws. So for this, you're going to get any of the two extra plastic cards that you have on your home. I have this uh, uh, unused debit card and this card. So I'm going to open it gently from this side or this side, whichever you prefer. So you're going to snap the card in the gap as you see like here and then you're going to snap the other card and you're going to hear these click sounds. So you're going to open these locks one by one. As you can see from, from first card then to the second then to the first and you will hear these I would say clicky sounds but actually these are the locks that are being opened again i really don't like this particular thing about the dell 5570 but what can we do so i'm going to gently open it and once your cover is open like this so all you're going to do is you're going to gently place your laptop in a position like this holding your hand you're going to flip it backward and then you're going to gently open it and the case should come out if it is not coming out then it means you have left some screw unscrewed uh, so you need to unscrew it first so i'm going to put it aside and here you can see the internal of the laptop so here is your ram bay if i flip it over so that it becomes much clearer to you So 
so here as you can see here is your ram bay i have already one 8 gb ram on it so i'm going to install another one right here that is of course going to be another 8 gb of ram so before i'm going to install the ram i'm going to clean it first with a small air blower but i do not recommend that you do it yourself if you can do then do it on your own risk otherwise i don't recommend that you clean your laptop by yourself get it to a some computer shop and make them clean this thing so i have cleaned the laptop with a small air blower now i can get to install the ram so basically the dell inspire rom 5570 comes with an 8 gb 2400 megahertz ram so you should get a 8 gb 24 megahertz ram if you're going to pair it with an 8 gb ram but some people do pair it with a 16 gb so i should tell you that this laptop supports a maximum of 32 gb of ram meaning that you can have two sticks 16 gb here and 16 gb here but in my case i'm just going to do go with 16 gb in total so this is the ram that i bought uh, as you can see it is not a 2400 megahertz ram because where i live i couldn't get one that had 24 megahertz so that's why i had to go with the 2666 megahertz ram by the way this is the 8 data 8 gb ram if you're wondering that's the one i'm going to install on the dell inspire rom 5570 so here if i show you the ram this is a 260 pin ram so it uh, combine it connects with our dell inspire rom 5570 so you can see one side is shorter and one side is longer so there is no way that you can insert the ram in the opposite direction so you don't have to worry about that so here uh, we have the smaller size and here is the longer size so i'm going to first see on the ram then i'm going to put it here from the top side as you can see it's like here i'm going to push it i'm going to press it downward and here i hear heard a click sound so that means that the ram is placed on the laptop properly so now i can just put the upper cover back so i have just placed the case first so i'm going to flip it over again on the top side and here you're going to press it from all the sides until you hear the clicks that means that the locks are being placed again here as you can see so once you have pressed all the locks you are not going to screw it first because i'm going to check whether the laptop is working perfectly or not if it is working perfectly then i'm going to screw all the things back but first of all you need to insert the uh, dvd bag on the laptop as well so here is the dvd way it's going to go in this direction i'm going to push it in like that so i'm going to flip the laptop back over and i'm going to plug in the power cable because i think my laptop wasn't charged yesterday and now i'm going to power on the laptop to see whether everything is working perfectly all right or not so now i'm going to power on the laptop to see whether if everything is working all right or not if everything is working all right and it if it has detected the newly installed ram then i'm going to shut down the computer again unplug the power cable and then i'm going to screw all the back screws that are remaining so let me just move the camera upward so that you can see what is happening on the laptop screen itself hopefully the camera is able to focus on it so as far as the laptop is concerned it is working perfectly all right now let's see whether it has detected the newly installed 16 uh, 8 gb of ram so we are going to have a total of 16 gb in this particular laptop so taking the ram is quite simple here you will have saying this pc if i zoom in more you are going to right click on it here on the last it says properties you are going to go to properties and here it here it is installed memory and it is showing 16 GB in which 15.7 uh, GB is usable as you can see on the camera screen so guys in this way you can change or upgrade the hard disk drive of your Dell Inspiron 5570 again if you have a 2400 megahertz laptop or RAM 
then you should go with 2400 megahertz in my case uh, the that value of ram was not present so that's why i have to go with the 2666 megahertz ram anyways guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and i have already made videos on how you can connect dual monitor to this particular laptop or how you can install an ssd or an nvme ssd to this inspired dell inspired on 5570 laptop if you are interested i will put those videos link in the video description as well other than that thank you for watching and stay safe